Well, we're back with another great ministry to highlight on the show today and get caught up with for this year uh, in 2023, and that is Bikes for Christ. We try to bring them on fairly regularly because of what they do, and we want to welcome back the founder, Pat Simmons. Welcome back, Pat. Thank you for having me. Great to have you you. again. You do amazing things in providing bikes for people in need. Can you tell our viewers that may not know what Bikes for Christ is, what you do exactly? Sure. So what we do is we provide bicycles to organizations that work directly with clients in need. So we depend upon case managers at the organizations to do a vetting process. Uh, to, that way we make sure our bikes are going to the most deserving individuals. And of course, with every bike we give out, we give a gospel of John because we want that person to come to know Christ if they don't know him already. You know, I, I, think one of the things to the side of that I always like you to tell is how you even started this. This just, this was just something that, that God supernaturally moved in your life yeah. by one event that happened, a missions trip, right? Yeah. So in 2015, I took a missions trip with my church to Nicaragua and I saw real poverty, not what we have here in this country, but yeah. uh, real poverty. And my heart was changed and I came back here to the community that I'm born and raised in and I wanted to make a difference. And I didn't know what that was right away, about six months into working with some other ministries, doing feedings and clothing and stuff like that. It finally hit me. You can help these people with transportation. And so it was basically the purpose, the perfect way to bring together something I had a passion for, which was cycling with something now that had a purpose. And um, Mm -hmm. so Bikes for Christ will be celebrating seven years next month. Wow, wow. And you know, people don't realize uh, transportation is such an issue. People can't afford cars, they can't. And just to have a bike um, to be able to get to and from, to even look for work, to find a job, anything is so huge. But you know, it isn't just Bay Focus that has recognized what you do. You've had a number of awards. Uh, You know, you've been um, considered with a hometown, Everyday Hero, like yeah, Everyday Hero yeah. on Bay News 9, and um, and variety of organizations have honored you. We have a couple of pictures because you um, you um, just got a couple of awards. Tell us, and, and I know it's hard for you to say, you know, like to say, you know, we got all these awards, but it's important that our viewers know that you are getting the community support to do this and that they can partner with you as well. So we're going to put some scripture, uh, scripture, not scriptures. <laughs> pictures. That was good. Tell us what we're seeing. So that right there is uh, Richard and Eliana uh, representing Bikes for Christ at the Best of Plant City Awards. That's hosted by the Plant City Chamber of Commerce. And we were presented the Community Service Award just a couple, just a few weeks ago, if Mm -hmm. that. Yeah, Yeah, that that was great to win that. And then um, this was a total surprise just last week. I was contacted by the governor's office about uh, the first lady of Florida being in Polk County and she wanted to meet and they didn't give a lot of detail. Oh, and I love it. so I just thought it was a meeting and we already had something else scheduled with the Tampa Bay Beaches Chamber coming out and do a promo video. So I sent my uh, board chair, Lita Perez and uh, Pam Friedler, another volunteer over to meet her. And when they came back, they came back carrying this big check. And they're like, you didn't know anything about this? I said, if I would have known, I would have made sure I was there. (laughs) I I had no idea. So we were one of only five organizations, nonprofits in the region, honored with a check for $10,000 from the Hope Florida Fund. Oh, talk Uh, about, talk about God, you know, providing. Yes. Um, but there are some things that you need um, right now. Um, well, tell us what you need because you, you you really are, you know, need a new facility, don't you? Yes. So every bit of that check will yeah. be going towards a new building because uh, we basically outgrew our current structure um, probably three and a half years ago. And uh, we're just too cramped to continue to do what we do uh, and, and expand, we have to have a larger facility. That way we can bring in more volunteers to work on bikes and get more bikes out, ultimately help more people in need. Okay, how do you get the bikes? They're all donations. Yeah. So at this point, um, the bikes just come. 
They really, they really just, they wow. just come in. Um, and it, we don't, we still, do, I, we still do the marketing, but we've got everything correct on Google. That, that's one thing you've got to have set up. And if you can't set up Google yeah. yourself, pay a company. Yeah. It's well worth it to have you placed where people are going to be able to find you and be able to help your organization. Yeah. So, in, so people privately, individually can donate bikes mm -hmm. um, or um, organizations can purchase them and give them to you? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's yeah, a we great would love way that. I mean, sometimes we, we've had in the past, uh, like corporate team building, where yeah. they will just buy a bunch of bicycles, put them together, and then yeah. give them to us. And um, we're going to show um, a video in just a moment, but um, describe for us who benefits from these. What, what are some of the stories, what, what their needs are? Well, our main focus are underprivileged kids, because every kid deserves a bicycle, veterans, um, our best bicycles going out of reserve for our veterans. And, and again, anybody that's in need that is trying to overcome whatever has been holding them down. Um, so as far as great stories, I mean, one that's more recent is we helped out two young ladies who were here on visa from, I can't remember the country right offhand, and get, got them bicycles because the bicycles they had basically fell apart. Delivered the bicycles to them, and then I checked. To, I wanted to see how far they were having to walk to get to HCC, and they were having to walk four miles there and back. So these bikes were able to help them get to school, be safer, and then you fast forward. They get their degree. You come back. Now one of the girls decided to keep her bike, but the other girl was able to donate it back to us, mm -hmm. and we in turn were able to refurbish it a second time and put it back out to someone else who was deserving and is trying to make life changes. Wow. Wow. So. That is so, so awesome. All right. What, what would you say then right now? Um, if you, know, you have all these different arms of what you do. Um, what are some of the, the greatest needs that our viewers can help you with? How, what, what could be targeted right now? Always need volunteers because yeah. we do a lot of just outreach, being out in the community, whether it's at an expo, whether it's at an outdoor market. Or we always need volunteers. Um, we need volunteers to represent us to local chambers. That way we can, we, chambers are a great way of networking. And so we need people to help with that. Our biggest need again is the building. So, you know, we need funds to get, get the new building. Yeah. That way we can continue to grow, continue to serve more people. Okay. Well, we are going to end on that note. Pat, as always, I, I'm in awe of what you do. This, you know, I, I just, one of the reasons I, I, I love having you on is the story. You know, you just went on a missions trip. You saw a need. You come back and you start this ministry because the need is here too. It's yep. all, it's, it's, we think that there aren't needs like this in America, but all you have to do is not look very far and you see it. And we're all, we are all one step away from needs like this. Absolutely. I mean, you never know. People get economic crisis, um, different things that have happened in their life uh, where they can't do a car and, um, you know, but even if it's temporary, like you said, one could turn it back in. They only yeah. had to use it Absolutely. for a certain yeah. amount of time. How, yeah. how cool is that? You know, I love it. Thank you so much for being on the show Thank again. You for having We're me. going to show you some highlights right now of Bikes for Christ um, for this, this past year, just the year that preceded. You're going to see some of the faces and the people that, that were benefited from this. And then we will be right back with more Bay Focus.
What an awesome ministry, Bikes for Christ. And, and then earlier in the show today, we featured going the distance adventure ministry, two ministries you can connect with because that is what we do here at Bay Focus. We want you to connect with the ministries that we highlight, that you can support them financially. And in the case of particularly going the distance adventure ministry, wow, how cool that would be to go on a family adventure together. But even volunteers are also needed uh, for Bikes for Christ. So again, two ministries you can partner with. And I want to say as well how much I appreciate you tuning in each week and how I, I need you to keep us in the loop on what's going on. If there's a ministry you know of, a community organization, that, that people are volunteer for. It doesn't always have to be a direct ministry, but that Christians and, and body of Christ is involved in helping. Um, you know, we wanna hear about that too. You can connect with us uh, through the CTN website on our social media. I would love to hear from you. Watch the shows, share the shows on YouTube, on our Facebook page. We want you to do it. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you next week. God bless.